everyone. So today is sort of like one of those potluck episodes or mystery box episodes of chops where I did not go to the grocery store today to get any meat per se for protein. So I'm going to be making a pasta out of whatever is here at this house and it is going to turn out pretty good. I'm convinced of that because I knew I could do it. I've done it before. So <clears throat> We're going to be using some garlic, some scallions, some peppers. <clears throat> it's kind of going to be, so imagine this, right? A spaghetti salad, but the spaghetti is going to be cooked warm and in a tomato sauce per usual. I'm going to cook some sauce down. And then we're going to add all these nice crisp raw veggies, even some lettuce to it, and mix it up to create a salad. Sounds crazy, but gonna taste really, really good. It is not the usual way that I make my spaghetti salad, but again, we're working with the ingredients that we have here at the house. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do. But this way, you know, you have a choice of eating it. Pardon my dog, he's outside. He is so spoiled. He does not like being outside anymore, even when it's warm. We bring him in the house. He has like the whole back porch as his area with a dog house, then he has a crate in the house, and um, to allow him to have freedom and stuff that he can't have in the house, we put him outside, and you would think he'd be happy with that, but he's spoiled, and he's gotten to a point now where he never wants to be outside, and it is a really, 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 really nice day here in Georgia today, so there is absolutely no reason for him to be in this house and he is not cold because it is actually warm here like I went outside earlier I couldn't believe how warm it was very nice outside here today all right so right now I'm just slicing up all the veggies <clears throat> I hadn't planned to cook today but then I was like oh there's not really you know without me cooking there's not really enough Leftovers for everybody to get a plate or something. So cooking has to happen. As y'all know, I call myself the queen of leftovers. I can make some marvelous dishes out of leftovers that make you forget that you ate any parts of it earlier in the week. And that's an important thing to do because in this economy that most people are in now, you don't want to be wasting stuff. You need to make every piece of whatever you have work. And so that's what I do. And I also freeze things. Um, I use like the same metal containers, the lids, the serving trays with the lids, and I seal them up that way. And then I put them in the large Ziploc bags. I label them, and they can be heated up just like those large family size stove for TV dinners that everybody's familiar with, right? Right. So I'm going to be back. I'm just going to deal with the garlic now, but I don't want this video to be extremely long, but I just want to tell you what I was doing. When you come back, you'll see some more stuff shocked up on the board, I'm waiting for the water to boil to put the pasta in. This is going to be a really quick, simple, and easy dinner tonight, but it's going to look beautiful on the plate when I get done. All right. All right. So we're back. Just want to show you what I've done here. Pardon the cucumber. So what I've got so far, and I want you to see what I used. To season what's here so far the last thing I do when I'm making the plates is the lettuce and tomato I don't want to sit those out too soon Sorry. clean off this here salt all right I still have some cucumber and garlic here that I'm going to put back in the fridge but here is my chopped garlic these are chopped shallots this is chopped yellow sweet pepper and chopped cucumber and some green onion flavored with Badia orange pepper and Badia black truffle. Still waiting on the water to boil and about to open up these two, which I'm going to use to make <coughs> the sauce. Pasta sauce, green pepper, and crushed tomatoes that I'm going to further crush up with my very clean hands. So this is something you can do. Now normally when I make spaghetti salad, I also use uh, balsamic vinaigrette. And I will also do that near the end. I'll toss that in. So as a matter of fact, let me go grab it so I don't forget to put it in because otherwise I just might. So yeah, 
yeah, it's really important to have a really good balsamic. And this is the one that I'll be using. It's Modacetti, I think it's how you pronounce it, but this is like real important from Italy, balsamic. So this is going to be most of what you're going to see go into this pasta today. An easy Sunday dinner. Be back in a bit. All right, so remember how much I talked to you guys about building fl flavor? You never want to turn tomato-based products on high, by the way. They'll splatter everywhere. But I took some of my left overstock from when I made pork chops the other day and some of the oil from it and mixed it in with those two store-bought containers that we mentioned earlier and I also took half of the chopped raw garlic that I had over there and put in there now what we're gonna do pardon my cat it's my daughter's cat and she's in heat yeah we love around the house when that happens because she gets so loud and so ridiculous and yeah anyway so just mix in some of that black truffle salt not too much maryland girl so even in our pasta honey just a little bit of old bay not too much you saw that it's like one and one half tablespoon of old bay i just love the flavor of it I have some basil leaves that we're going to put in just to give it that nice aromatic flavor. I always keep fresh basil, especially when I'm making a pasta sauce of any type. All right, and we're also going to garnish the plate with just a little of it. So then the very last thing we're going to add to this, again, like I said, this is a really simple and easy dinner. We're going to put in a little bit of balsamic, not too much because it's also going to get tossed in with the pasta at the end. See? Just make a nice loop-de-loop -loop circle twice with it. So in measurements, that would probably be about two tablespoons. And then, as I always tell y'all, get as happy as you want with your granulated onion. I think that's enough for this dish. I might use more when it's meat, but I think we're going to keep it light today. All right. <clears throat> All right. I was out of olive oil today, so today's oil that we've used, other than the oil that was already here from the pork chops, is um, vegetable oil. Regular, just your regular store bought vegetable oil. Okay. So I've got this right now in a setting of four, and I'm going to let it take its time. Because for some reason, this water is taking 10 years to start to boil. So I'm definitely not in any rush. We still haven't got the pasta in yet. So just mix everything up good. Tap your spoon. Try not to make a mess while transferring that to your sink. And then we're just going to take a top. And we're going to let that just kind of cook low until things are done. So I'll be back in a bit. And I'm going to go deal with my daughter's kitten. That's not even my responsibility. All right, be back in a bit. Okay, so the rest of our, let me see if I can lower this so you can see better. Nope. The rest of our pasta is done. It's been drained. It's just sitting there. The pasta sauce is cooking just a little more to get the flavors in. And this is the rest of that onion that I chopped. You can see it in there. I've got it in some oil because raw garlic is too harsh it burns the tongue it's like kind of spicy so we're gonna saute this before we mix it in with everything all right be back in a bit all right so i'm back and if you see here you'll see that we have the pasta and we have the sauce that i made so what i'm gonna do now real quick with tones is just mix everything up. I tried to get this at a good angle so you can really see. It still could be better though. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't slide. <laughs> so what happens when you have to do some ghetto rigging to your tripod. So here we go. We're just mixing this up. It is an abundance of sauce. I like sauce. And I thought about it. This is probably more than more so because usually I mix spaghetti salad. I serve it cold. But this is more like a Garden Primavera pasta. And all that means is that it's full of veggies. 
Remember that garlic we had earlier? Well, we roasted it because like I said, it goes in so harsh. I am a person who can never have, ever, ever, ever have too much garlic. So we're just gonna get that on in there. <clears throat> then we're going to put our shallots in. And this is gonna add texture because you know the pasta is soft, right? But this, these veggies that are still fresh, crisp, and raw are gonna give it that nice bite and that nice crunch, which is yum. Yum, yum, yum. And some color. And some color. <clears throat> then we're also just gonna put in the peppers. You're gonna take your tongs and mix all this up again in a second. All right. The green onions. Look at all this goodness going in here. Sometimes you just gotta stand and look in your fridge on the days you don't feel like going to the grocery store or if it's a budget problem and you can't go to the grocery store and you got certain things, even if you got things that you froze, you can still, still, still make it work. I'm telling you. Just one quick splash of balsamic because we already had some in the sauce that we made. So we don't want to admit this too, too, too vinegary tasting, but balsamic is actually sweet. That's why I love it so much. And last but not least, the cucumbers that were pre-salted in black truffle salt. I'm in love with black truffle salt and my orange pepper, in case you can't tell. There was also some lemon pepper added to the sauce to give it even more of a citrusy taste. And then just get in there with your spoon and your tongs. And you just want to make sure everything mixes up really, really, really beautifully and nicely. And when I finally plate this, my daughter decided she wanted to eat chili because she doesn't like a lot of the vegetables that are in this. But when it's finally time to plate dinner, I'll be back to show you. My other half was still asleep. So we're not eating dinner just yet. My daughter's eating the chili that she wanted. But let me bring this down, or bring it up, so you can see what we've got. Look at that beautiful, beautiful mixture. That's gorgeous, right? And wait till you see it on a plate later. Be back in a bit. All right, guys, and just like that, we're all done. Look at that beautiful vegetable primavera pasta dish for tonight. Healthy. Fun, well, healthy all except for it is carbs. Garnish with three tomatoes and some fresh basil. Give you a spin here so you can see it all. Come on in close for you there. Look at it. Roasted garlic, cucumbers, tomatoes, sweet peppers. Mm-mm, good. Yes, nothing like a good pasta. Enjoy. <laughs>